Girl campaigns to get 1,000 books about black girls gets almost 10,000. This is our text for today. This is going to be our lesson for Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. So our standard of the day is explain how an author uses reasons and evidence to support particular points in a text, identifying which reasons and evidence support which points. So an author is usually trying to make one or two or even a few points specifically within a story, and they're always trying to back that up with some text evidence and some facts to help support the information that they're giving you. So, so for some of the questions you might be getting, either a point and you have to figure out which evidence or text evidence backs it up, or you might be given different pieces of text evidence and you have to explain what point the author is trying to make using those pieces of evidence. So our title of our text is Girl Campaigns to Get 1,000 Books About Black Girls, but Gets Almost 10,000. And this is an article about, from the Chicago Tribune. Again, just like yesterday, this is a nonfiction text, so this is a true story. Marley Diaz is an amazing 12-year-old. She's the preteen force behind hashtag 1000 Black Girl Books, a campaign to collect and donate children's books that feature black girls as the lead characters. She has hoped to collect 1000. She's up to 9,500. Frustration is fuel to help others. Marley will be in Chicago, Illinois on June 6th and 7th for the Social Innovation Summit. A bunch of adults will talk about issues like creating change and use phrases like increasingly complex global landscape. Marley will be there too. I'll be talking about how to use frustration as fuel to help others, Marley said, and how I was able to use the problem of only seeing white boys and their dogs as characters as a way to uplift the stories of black girls. Marley began her campaign to change reading lists in 2015 when she was a 6th grader. She had to read Old Yeller, Shiloh, and Where the Red Friend Grows. However, Brown Girl Dreaming and other tales with girls of color at the center were not on the list. Social Media Campaign Her mom, Janice Johnson Diaz, co-founder of Grassroots Community Foundation, helped her to launch a social media campaign. The goal was to collect 1,000 books with black girl main characters. The books would be donated to libraries. Booksellers and authors quickly jumped on board with donations. Ellen DeGeneres gave her a check for $10,000 to buy books. Marley, who lives in West Orange, New Jersey, discovered authors and titles she never knew existed. Of the 9,500 books she's collected, she said 1,500 are unique titles. One of her favorites is Aya, Life, and Yop City, a graphic novel by Marguerite Abuit, who was born and raised in Ivory Coast, Africa. A graphic novel is similar to a comic book. To create mirrors and windows. My goal is to promote the stories of black girls, not only for black girls, but for other kids who are different, she said. I come from a community that has a lot of white kids, and I notice how a lot of times they don't understand our differences, and how I come from a different culture, and my ancestors are different, and my history is different. I want to create mirrors and windows for people in communities all across the world. Marley explains her ideas. When I say mirrors, I mean I want these stories to be reflected for the black girls who are reading them, she said. Marley wants them to be able to see themselves and learn about their history. When I say windows, I mean open up to people who are different to understand and to see and grow from those things we don't understand. So if you notice, she show, shares her ideas in that first paragraph, and then when it says Marley explains her ideas, she's giving that evidence to back up her main point that she has in that first paragraph. So this is kind of going along with that standard that we're focusing on. I'm going to continue. She added, if I meet someone who's Native American, I don't know anything about indigenous people in New Jersey, which I kind of don't, which is not really good, I can learn more and more about their lives, and at the same time, I'm showing others that I can be kind, I can be caring, I can be special. Role models and goals. In addition to the heroes in books, there are people she admires in real life. I have role models, she said, but I take the attributes of the people that I admire and I use them to create my best self. I can look at Madam C.J. Walker, who is one of the first black female millionaires, and I can say, I want to be an industrious and I want to be as motivated as her. Not that I want to live the life she did, but I want to be my best self and have those traits and abilities of Madam C.J. Walker to allow me to do that. Marley said that when she's 63 years old, she'll ask herself if she did all she could to channel her inner Madam Walker. Making the world a better place. 
Was I able to reach my goals and be a TV producer or film producer or a magazine editor for my own magazine, she said. Was I able to use those skills in my role model toolbox or my activist toolbox? Marley has a book coming out in January. Marley Diaz gets it done, and so can you. Will be published by Scholastic. It's a guide for everyone to use their gifts and talents to make the world a better place, she said. So these are the questions that you're going to be having to answer on Edsby. So I'm going to read them aloud and kind of explain them a little bit to you. So the first question you'll answer is, how does the author support what Marley is talking about at the Social Innovation Summit? So you need to look at what Marley says at this at the Social Innovation Summit and then find some text evidence or some points that the author uses to support what she is talking about. What information does the author give that helps to support what Marley is talking about at that summit? The second question, what is the most likely reason the author included the detail about Ellen DeGeneres in the section, Social Media Campaign? So the author gives you some information, gives you a fact about Ellen DeGeneres. Why do you think the author included that? What was the purpose of it? The third question, how does the author support the idea that Marley looks to other people to better herself? So what text evidence can you find that supports the fact that Marley looks at other people in order to help better herself? What text evidence can you find that supports that idea?